Hey, Buff Nation, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson here. Practice number one at 2022 camp in the books. Talking quarterbacks, Brenda Lewis, number 12, starter last year for the Buffaloes. Got to feel good to get back out there, huh? Yes, sir. It felt great getting back out here with the guys, the new guys, getting our chemistry, starting to get our chemistry down. Uh, seeing us complete vibes to him, it was just real fun being out here to get coached by our great coaches and stuff. So uh, I'm really made me really excited for the season. Brenda, you played a lot of football last year, and, and there were there were some very good spots and areas that you want to improve upon. Talk about what you took from last season. I know coaches talked about you going and sitting down and breaking down every game from last year. Talk about what you took from a mindset standpoint into the off season and what you did. Yeah, so uh, like. Yes, sir. He is the man. It's that offensive line coach in the background there. It's always about the big boys, isn't it? <laughs> no, but yeah, um, yeah. Like I, I, I went back and watched every game. Uh, like I said, all, all the bad plays, seeing what I could have did better. And then uh, after Coach Sanford impl implemented the new offense, I looked, went back again uh, and just envisioned the plays that he would call and the, and the, the uh, looks that he would see. Uh, and I was just envisioning that on last year. So uh, it made me excited for this year to get back out there and uh, show that I've improved. Uh, make plays, really. Just go out there and make plays. You know, you, you mentioned Mike Sanford, uh, new coach, new offense. What's your take so far on what you've seen from, from Coach Sanford? He's a brilliant guy, brilliant mind. Him and all the guys that Coach Durrell put around him, that he hired around him. It's just been really amazing to, to see everything that I've learned from him. I learned something new every day. And the fact that he can teach me to do it in there in the meeting rooms and come out here and do it, it's just amazing. I, I love it. It's just really fun. You know, one thing about modern football now, we know rosters change over. It's kind of like the NFL, right? you got to get used to new guys every single year. As you stand here right now, you've worked with these guys, some of the new guys, some of the returners during the offseason. Why do you feel confident about this offense right now? I feel confident just because of how close we are. We all want to go. We all have the same goal. We all want to be great. So I just love the camaraderie we have. We all, we all work hard. We all want to make plays. And when somebody messes up, we hold them accountable. But then after that, we pat them on the butt. We, they got it next time. So it was just really fun seeing the young guys buy in early and seeing the, uh, the older guys leading them and things like that. You know, I know you and JT have got a great deal of respect. This is going to be a great competition during the month of August. Talk about that competition, you guys going against each other. Yeah, that competition is really great. Uh, I think going against him makes me a better player each and every day. Uh, I would say going against him makes me want to be Damn, they want to be. We all want to be perfect on every rep. So uh, it's a fun, fun competition, friendly competition. We both support each other. So uh, yeah, it's just really fun going out there and be able to compete with him every day. And, and I'd have to think, with that mindset, and I'd say he's probably got the same mindset. Yeah. That raises both of you, doesn't yes, it? For sure. Yeah, coach has talked about it. We all raise the bar. So uh, the standards, the standard. We all want to. We always want to raise the standard each and every day. So uh, I think it's good that we all compete against each other in a friendly way, supportive way. All right. Well, good luck this season. Thank you, Mark. All right. He's looking for a big year number two, and that's practice number one for the Colorado Buffaloes as we connect with quarterback Brendan Lewis.